Hello Indiegogo fans. In today's environment, plastics are used in every facet of our society. Today you could even say that it's difficult to look at anything or anywhere without seeing some type of plastic involvement. Whether it's the plastic milk jug, the laundry detergent container, kids toys, condiment bottles, butter tubs, ice cream containers, pill containers, plastic drink cups, and plastic cutlery. These images represent one side of the equation. However, the other side of the plastic equation is not as pretty. Piles of plastic trash and mountains of plastic waste are polluting our environment. These images are at the core of a continuing problem that is increasing every day. Current recycling efforts in this country and around the world only account for a small percentage of the plastic that is made and used every day. The excess plastic that is not recycled is then either sent to incinerators or to the landfills that are already growing beyond capacity and further increases our pollution in the environment. At Plastic Energy Solutions, we are working to engage that problem at the next level by helping to reduce the plastic's input into our environment as waste. Our plan is to capture the waste at the source or as it's being moved to the landfill and then we convert the plastic waste back into oil. Plastic Energy Solutions employs a process called pyrolysis to convert a large selection of plastics back into light crude oil. This oil is number two heating oil or 100% sulfur free diesel. By converting the plastics into a usable fuel, we're effectively changing an item that was once destined for the trash heap into a material that can now be reused for energy gains. The energy needed to convert the plastic back into light crude oil will be captured from the sun using traditional solar energy, thus eliminating the carbon footprint of the conversion process. Once converted back into the oil, the material can be utilized as heating oil or can be further refined into a fuel byproduct. With the current efficiencies of the home heating unit, the emissions produced from consuming the oil is nearly 80% less than if the raw plastic was incinerated at the end of the waste stream. By partnering with different business groups, we plan to remove the plastic material from the waste stream before it even makes it to the landfill or incinerator. With your support, we hope to make a difference in this plant's future by tackling the problems today.